Lubricants and Lubrication A ship uses various type of lubricating oils and greases. The various machineries on board are subjected to different types of conditions depending on the fuel they use. Their operating temperature, exposure to weather or not etc. Depending upon these conditions different types of lubricants are used for various machineries. Different types of lubricating oils are used for various application. Machinery is mentioned below. Main engine crankcase oil. Generator engine crankcase oil. Main engine cylinder oil. Air compressor sump oil. Hydraulic oil for hydraulic machinery. Oil for gear cases of various machinery. General purpose grease. In every vessel a chart is made showing clearly for which machinery what type of lubricating oil is to be used. So that correct type of lubricating oil is used for each machinery. If a different type or grade of lubricating oil used it may harm the machinery. Oils and greases. Oils and greases of different types vary in their properties even though the differences in their composition may be slight. Always use appropriate lubricant suited for the need. Safety. Some oils affect skin. When handling oils of this type, protective clothing must be worn and a barrier cream must be put on the hands. Oil. Oils vary in viscosity and in their other properties. They can also have additives in them which modify their properties for special purposes. Viscosity. Viscosity is the term used to describe how fluid oil is or its resistance to flow. Low viscosity oil flows easily and is often called a light oil or thin oil. High viscosity oil has more body and is often called heavy oil or thick oil. Do not confuse oil viscosity with oil type quality. Methods of lubrication Splash lubrication The moving components are inside a protective housing. During operation components deep into the oil bath and carry oil to the other components. Pre-circulatory system The moving components are totally enclosed in a protective housing. A certain quantity of oil is contained in a sump formed by the base of the housing or in the tank. Grease cups. Some grease lubricated bearings may be supplied with their lubricant from a grease cup. There are two distinct types. Spring operated. Screw operated. Spring operated. Grease held in the cup is continuously forced under spring pressure to the bearing. This type of cup is suitable only for the thinner grade of grease and for short direct feed ducts or pipes. Screw operated. Grease is forced through the feed duct or pipe by the operation of a screw cap. This type of cup is suitable for thicker grade of grease and for longer feed ducts or pipes. The disadvantage with this type of grease cup is that the feed is intermittent and controlled by manual adjustment of the screw. Grease gun. A grease gun is used to pump grease through a non-return nipple. After greasing, the nipple may be left in position or replaced by a screwed blanking cap. Take care to ensure adequate lubrication by this method. Lubrication system maintenance. Because of the variety of lubrication systems and devices in use, routine servicing and maintenance requires careful planning and operation. Maintenance work can generally be divided into two schedules, daily and periodic. Oil bath or reservoir. This is best achieved when oil is hot. Remove dirty filter. Flush system if specified. Fit new or clean filter is required.
correct refill system with fresh oil of correct grade. Points to note. In lubrication system maintenance cleanliness is essential. Lubricants attract dust and grit and dirty lubricants cause rapid wear and deterioration in machinery. Ensure that excess or spilt oil or grease is cleaned up immediately and dirty oil waste is disposed of correctly as these are serious fire hazards.